artist after undergraduate school. I always intended to make it a part of my life, but as far as actually being an artist, it was after undergraduate school. Um, I split my curriculum between the fine arts and biological, and biological sciences, intending to go into medical illustration, and um, decided to sit out for a year and really ponder if that was really right for me. And so I painted, which I really discovered how much I love painting. I came to the conclusion that I really wanted to be an artist. So I was in New York City at the New York Academy of Art Graduate School of Figurative Art. And so I was a member of the very first officially graduating class, so as far as having a master's degree in painting and drawing. I was at the school, the New York Academy of Art. One of my co-students there uh, worked for a mural company. And she said, we need some more people, are you interested? And I said, sure. So it was after we graduated, I started working there. And their main client, this mural company, their main client was the Limited Express Clothing Store. And so we were painting a lot of murals on canvas and oil that they then shipped off around the country and put up in their new stores. And so that was where I really started learning about painting large scale. And, and really enjoyed it. I, I was born and raised in Louisville and then went away to IU and then lived in Georgia and then lived in New York. So I was gone for about 10 years. Um, I met my husband in New York City and I love New York and it's actually where I felt the most at home. I felt so at home there but it is a very stressful place to live after a certain amount of time. So we left New York City and um, came to Louisville essentially to regroup and my standing line is 20 years later I'm still regrouping. So I guess I've been in this particular studio space for it'll be three years in December and I love the space because I love the southern facing windows, I love the light that comes in. Um, because I do like to work large scale it allows me plenty of room to move back and, and to see things. So it was an old candy factory and they, they made chocolate and um, apparently the big chocolate vat was upstairs. <laughs> so when it gets really hot, it'll still drip some chocolate. And actually when I moved into this space, it was a total mess. I had to, I mean I completely cleaned the space. And when I came upon all this dark stuff, I thought this is going to be no fun. But it actually cleaned up pretty well because it's essentially sugar water. Collaborative process. 
It really is. One thing I just love about the actual painting of a mural and putting it into a space is the, the transformation of that space and the interaction that happens between the artwork and the space and, and how it can really open up the space or just create a new dimension. And I find that just completely fascinating. I mean, I'll have, it, it actually gives me chills when I just think about it. I, I'll have an idea of what's going to happen, but then once it's actually there, it, it still is always uh, a new experience. It's always a new experience.